Okay, this is our week five mental challenge. So this week we're focusing on self-discipline, also this week and next week as well. So what is self-discipline? Self-discipline is knowing what we should do, but doing it on our own, okay? And this can be a really hard thing, but this is actually really, really important. Some of you have heard this story, some of you haven't yet. There was a study that was done, and uh, I think it's called the marshmallow test, okay? And so what happened was these researchers, these psychologists, uh, would take a kid and they'd put them in a room, and there's a table, and they'd set them down on the table, and there was a plate, and they'd have a big marshmallow, and they'd put that marshmallow on the plate, and they'd tell the kid, you can eat that right now, or you can wait. I'm gonna leave, and when I come back in, if you haven't eaten the marshmallow, I'll give you another one. So you have two huge marshmallows, okay? And so some of the kids got really excited at that. Some of the kids, though, they'd see that big marshmallow, and they'd want to eat it, right? And again, the, the, the person would say, okay, you can eat it now. If you want to eat it, you can. It's just I'm not going to give you another one shortly. So it's up to you. And some of the kids couldn't help it. They would just grab the, the marshmallow, and they, they just they devour it, right? Some of the kids, though, really wanted to wait because they didn't want to have one, they wanted to have two. And so it was hard, it was really hard for those kids. You could see them, they'd, ah, they'd cover their face, they'd look at the marshmallow, ah, some of them would pick it up, and they'd smell it, ah, some of them would put it down, some of them would take a little piece off of it and, and eat a little piece of it. It was really hard for some of them. Some of them finally gave in and they just grab it and start eating it. Others though, waited and waited and waited. And then the person would come back in and if there was still a marshmallow there, they would give them another marshmallow. So now they have two of them, right? Okay. Well, what were that? The kids that didn't eat the marshmallow, they were showing that they had self-discipline, right? And so what these researchers and what these psychologists did was then they also followed these kids and they started looking at other aspects of their life. As they started getting older, how did these kids do in school? How did they do in their friendships? How did they do with a job or with a career? How did they do in other aspects of their life? And what they found was the kids who had self-discipline, the kids that were able to wait and not eat the marshmallow, those kids usually did better in many aspects of life. They were more focused. They were, they do better in their grades in school. They, if they went to college, they did well in college, they would get a good job. They did better in their relationships. They had better friendships. They were healthier. So in a lot of aspects of life, they were happier and they were better. And the kids that struggled and didn't have that self-discipline, they had a harder time. They might have a harder time in school. They might have a harder time in other aspects of their life, okay? So this study showed us that self-discipline is really important. And trying to get a black belt, you have to have a lot of self-discipline to do that. A lot of really important things in life, you have to have self-discipline. So I want you guys thinking about what are some things in your life that you have self-discipline? If you are watching this video, you're having self-discipline right now. Absolutely. How many of you have a friend during the quarantine, right, that are at home just playing video games or just watching TV? You're not watching video games. You're, you're not playing video games. You're not watching movies. You're watching this video. You are working on these daily, these weekly challenges, okay? This is extra credit for our martial arts program. This is going above and beyond just playing games, just goofing off. This is going above and beyond. You're working on something extra special, trying to earn a trophy, right? You're showing self-discipline. You're saying, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna watch these videos. I'm gonna work hard because I wanna try to earn that trophy. You're showing self-discipline. You have to show self-discipline to earn your next belt level. You have to do the class. You have to work out, you have to work hard, you have to listen and pay attention. That's self-discipline. So I want you guys thinking about where are some other places in your life that you can have self-discipline? And how does it help you? So how, where else can you have self-discipline? So you can have self-discipline for school, doing your homework. How does homework help you? Think about that. Uh, some of you, if you have a pet, maybe you have a dog or a cat, well, you have to have self-discipline to help take care of that pet, to help feed that pet, to maybe take it out for a walk, or if it's a cat, take care of the litter box, right? So that's something that you have to have self-discipline is to help your pet, right? What else? What about doing a chore, cleaning your room? If you play a musical instrument, maybe practicing, you have to have self-discipline to practice. So the question is, 
what is an area in your life that you can have self-discipline? I want you to write that down on a sheet. And then how does that help you? Okay, so those are the questions. So again, we're focusing on having black belt self-discipline. And again, if you're watching this, you're showing it. You're showing me that you have self-discipline. But I want you to think of other areas where you can have self-discipline as well.